We're talking with Charles Green, a financial service advisor for the small business lending community, Charles, out of Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, you and I have been doing the Bob and Charles show before our webinars for a couple of years now, so now we're going to the next step. I appreciate you joining us. Uh, Charles is the author of Get Financing Now and, of course, uh, the best-selling uh, SBA loan book. Charles, welcome for joining us. Glad to be with you, Bob, and uh, it's kind of funny being out here in front of the camera. That's different. There you go. That's, well, we're two good-looking guys, right? I hope so. There you go. What's going on in the world of small business lending today? Well, I heard a great conversation a couple of days ago at the Risk Management Association meeting in Atlanta. They have a, a regional group here in the state, and they heard from Thomas Dijinsky, the regional director of FDIC. He had a couple of things that are very pertinent to small business lenders that I wanted to share. Please. One is that the FDIC is seeing the, a trend of many lenders underpricing loan risk. It's a big concern to FDIC because the banks seem to be competing very heavily for a few good deals and using price as a, an element of getting the, the, the business. And that's a problem with them creating adequate income and reserves for future losses. Another item he mentioned is interest rate risk uh, that is in part spawned by this lower revenues. Banks are also stretching to invest in their security portfolio with longer terms to get additional yield and that leaves them more fraught to unbalanced uh, maturities coming down. So a couple the things are, there that... The regulators be, are looking at banks as, uh, as a business and when the banker says, hey, Mr. Small Business Main Street borrower, you need to increase your sales, uh, the regulators are giving the, the banks the same charge. That's the bottom line. You, you've got to make money to make money. Charles, something else in your neck of the woods that's going on is uh, a, a fairly significant, I think, a fraud case in a bank out of Savannah. Normally in these rogue lenders you have one or two lenders tied up with a couple borrowers. Here you had seven bank officers go down. What's going on in uh, Georgia these days? It's a pretty ugly story. The First National Bank of Savannah failed in 2010. And as you know, the post-mortem um, on any kind of failed institution is fairly deep. In this instance, they found out that from the president through the chief financial officer, chief credit officer, uh, senior lending officer, uh, as well as a couple of others, were actually fabricating new loans to generate monies to continue servicing failing loans. So they were covering up their problems and trying not to let the bank be adequately rated according to the poor performance of some of their assets. You know, you could see one lender doing that, but to, to, to get, uh, the, the, looks like the entire uh, management group involved, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's pretty serious stuff. It is. It's a huge failure, and the FDIC estimated it cost the insurance fund about $90 million. So it, it probably started out with one or two deals and spiraled quickly out of control. Uh, and thereby you had so many officers uh, that were had to be involved to, be, um, to make it work. Well, it's, it's certainly uh, the takeaway is uh, let's, uh, let's make sure we're adhering to best practices uh, all the way around in terms of what we do. Charles, tomorrow you are doing a Coleman webinar on using loan brokers for an additional revenue stream. Aren't loan brokers a nasty two-word... Uh, sentence by the regulators. What, what, what are you trying to tell us? Well, it doesn't have to be. Uh, someone who's not employed by the bank uh, is outsourced to do a lot of different functions for the bank, and loan origination is just one more of them. What I'm going to talk about are some of the best practices to avoid some of the worst outcomes that we've seen around the small business lending sector. Seen many worst outcomes, absolutely, like anything yeah. else. I assume you're going to tell us how to manage this process. That's right. Very good. Charles Green, Atlanta, Georgia, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Bob.